in this video we're going to focus how we can set up an initial zoom in a time scale in chart chair. so right now you can see here we have this zoom here but this is from the year 2025 but of course we have still data from 2020 21 and 2022 so now it just zooms just the latest data or specifically the data that we want so let's start to look how we can apply an initial zoom on our chart so let's start to look how to set an initial zoom value in chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is to get a border template, which you can find here on chart.js3.com. Getting started, this specific link, you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code. If you want to understand this code, please watch this video here that explains it all. Paste this all in there, cut out the title, and I'm going to put the title in here. Save, refresh. All right. Let's maximize the size, uh, this one here, 80%. Refresh, there we are. So next what I want to do is I want to put in what we call the date adapter. So it will start to support dates on the X scale. So what we're going to do here, go to chartjs.org, click here on ecosystem. And once you're on the ecosystem, scroll down here and click on the adapters here. This here allows us to use three options here. But I'm going to recommend you use the upper two. This one has been deprecated. I'm going to use this one here because this only requires one JavaScript file, while Loxon requires two JavaScript files. So let's click on the uh, date FNS. And then once we're in here, you have to make sure we get this specific link here, which is our adapter. So paste that in there, but make sure you paste it after the JavaScript file or basically after the chart.js library because this here depends on whatever's in here. So once we have this here, you can see here the adapter date FNS bundle, minimize JavaScript file. That's the one we need. If I save this, of course, nothing happens yet. So what I want to do here now, let's start to put in some dates in here. So I'm going to put in here uh, 2020, 2020, and then January 1, January 1, and then the next one, I'm just going to grab three or four dates, and it's fine for this demo. And everything else I'm going to remove here. And then what I'm going to say here, this will be 1, 22, and I'm finding here 25. So we have a very extreme date range. And I do this on purpose. So we're going to scroll down here. And then what I'm going to say here, or if I save this, by the way, refresh, it might work here, but this is a category axis. So you can see here, it just grabs the years and put them side by side. And I don't want this. What I really want is I want to have the true date because this is not being recognized as a date. So in here, in the scales, X scales, and then in here, you're going to say type for this type of scale. And I'm going to say here in the string value time. Now we are allowed to use this time object. And this time object is built in in the date FNS adapter. So that's why we are allowed to use this now. And this command here indicates which one we're using. So in here, we're going to say unit. And I want to, I want to display it on day. So every day will be displayed. And you can see here, we get a huge amount of data and maybe too much that is comfortable for reading. And you can see here uh, how it's being structured. This is absolutely one month, but it's just too much. Let's start to give it an initial zoom. So that's a bit more easier to Z, C for us. So we're going to do here a comma and then we're going to say in the X scale, I'm going to say min value. And a min value could be any of these or you could give anything else. So we can just say here, let's grab this one. And I'm going to say here the min value will be this comma. And then our max value, let's say we only want to show for maximum one year. So we just do it like this. Save that. Or even what we can do here 2020, then 31. December, oh sorry, this is this is the month, of course. So it's December the 31st. Save, refresh, and now you can see here, we get here this January gets here, <coughs> sorry. So the January here is shown, but also the January of next year. Apparently, this is just so squeezed in together. As you can see here, it skips a week, or it's a segment of a week. So what we could do here, because probably day you, the unit of day is not possible because it's just too many data points. So what I can do here, let's make this um, nine, and I'll make this one the first of or 31st of January. So we have a four month play. And as you can see here, now we have this, and this shows here nicely 
January 1 and there we are and this just grabs it from 2021 so we could change this as well make this 25 and make this 2024 save refresh and then we get here apparently this is 2025 being displayed here and that's basically how you set the initial zoom value in chart.js so if you enjoyed this video this here is you want to understand this logic you will be able to understand how we can filter dates because we have an initial no initial load, but what about if you would want to filter out dates of year, month, week, etc., etc.? In that case, I'm going to recommend you here like this video that has a start and ending date where you can select. And this is the video how to filter dates in a chart in chart. Yes, I highly recommend you this video as well as a nice add-on for what we have built so far.